Okay, so this was quite the arena run. As you could probably see in the thumbnail, I decided to go for some one-up spider strats. Uh, I kind of got this idea a little bit from Disease or Infected Player on YouTube, who did a tiger whale spider strat that kind of inspired me to go for this and try to at least change it a little so I'm not completely ripping him off. You know, the old yoink and twist, as Ludwig would say. But the Otter Ant starts, unfortunately, they put a B on their unit, so they won that round. But I'll get you back eventually, one day, whoever that person was, whose name I wasn't really paying attention to. Uh, this is a, it's an okay start. It usually helps you, like, win or draw some of the early rounds versus, like, fish or mosquito. But it's just, it's not that great because usually you want to pill ants and their long-term value, not great. Also, their stats of 2-1, just also not great. But it's uh, it's probably like the third or fourth best. Cricket and Ant are both okay options. I got Dog, though, and I, pr I like taking Dog. I think it's a fun unit. Even if it's not the best, it's still playable at least and can work sometimes. And just buying and selling is a fun strat to go for, so why not go for it? And Early Turtle, very good. But So Spider is a tier 2. If you don't know, it spawns a random tier 3 as a 2-2. Two -two. So a lot of times I will take a spider on turns three and four and just pill it in the shop to get an early tier three. Uh, pilling onto the dog, because I guess I'm planning on keeping this dog for a while, but I might pill the ant. It's not like so buff that I'll never get rid of it. Still able to pill it if I want to. I'm at nine hearts. When I'm on nine hearts, I don't really care too much about losing. I would prefer to win, of course, because it is arena and versus it doesn't matter pretty much whatsoever. But I do prefer to win, uh, but since it doesn't really matter if I lose, I usually just take Swan just for the extra gold next turn, plus I can sell it, and now we have 12 gold. So able to like more efficiently roll and buy tier 3s, which are usually pretty good. Alright, so rolling for level 2 dog. Also got Shrimp. Am I going to take Shrimp? I, I'm thinking about it. Guess I decide not to. Shrimp is not that great, but it does synergize with dog. If I do get early dog and I see a shrimp on turn three or four, I usually take it. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm pretty surprised I didn't take it here. Okay, I'm definitely surprised I didn't just spend three gold to take the shrimp there. I think that was probably a mistake. Uh, I might just be looking for spiders because I was planning on doing spiders run and I went for, like, I did this many times and I even tried going for, like, a big spider, like, going otter spider and having like a 30-30 spider towards the end, but it actually, it didn't really work out so well, surprisingly. Uh, okay, I guess I'm sticking with double dog. Usually I just combine and go for one level two dog. That way it's scaling is really fast, but I guess this works too. Uh, yeah, and then, okay, interesting options here. I got pig, I got beaver, and I got... Uh, giraffe. I guess I decided with Ghost Giraffe. That's a free 1-1, one, one, but pretty much I also get 1-1 one, one if I buy any of the other things. Uh, I guess I would also get 1 gold if I bought the pig back next turn, but this does allow me to buff the ox instead of the dogs, and it has slightly better stats. Okay. I like that I'm just like critiquing my own play now. I don't know what else to talk about. I'm obviously going to talk about the game, so why not? I guess I am keeping this ant. It is a 10-9 after all, so putting melon armor on it seems reasonable. Uh, canned food. Whenever I'm planning on going summoning builds, I usually try to focus a lot on canned food and uh, can help get like things out of sniping range. Also, it just it really helps because you know you're replacing so much of your team, so the can's going to affect a lot of things. And if you think like if you're replacing five things on your team and you're buying one can, that is plus two plus one to five things. Like, I don't even know how many stats that is. 15 extra stats? That's kind of crazy. Early crocodile, yeah, that's usually pretty nice. Don't expect to turn a crocodile most of the time, so I might catch a honey badger off guard here. Or even like a horse build. I do sometimes lose to horse builds because uh, I pretty much never take garlic anymore. I think someone left a comment that was like, wow, I'm, I can't believe you never take garlic, it's so OP. The thing about melon armor is that it's OP and it's like it lasts the entire game. The thing with garlic is that it falls off pretty quickly. By a turn nine, a lot of times garlic won't be doing too much, and since a lot of the time, like people just have one strong unit, things sometimes just die and like in one or two hits, so the garlic won't actually matter. All right, there's the first spider, already a nine seven because of the turkey buff put it in front of the ox. 
So there's a lot of things that go well with spider. I mean, there's a lot of things that can be summoned that help out a lot. Sheep is obviously really nice because you get so many extra summons. But it can also spit out a turtle for free melon armor. It can spit out... If you give honey to a spider and it spits out an ox, you can get melon armor that way as well. Uh, there's another turkey. So, of course, I got to go with turkey in this build. I feel like if I try to go one-up spiders without turkey, it just does not go very well. So now I'm getting plus six, plus six, a solid 12, 10 spider. Thinking about rooster, uh, I could freeze it, roll once for a spider. Didn't get it. I could go parrot spider if I wanted to, but the thing about parrot is that you can't put one ups on it because when it respawns, it has no ability. So the uh, copied ability is lost and I just wanted to go for one up spider. So I decided not to take parrot here. And the rooster, it's gonna be pretty solid stats just so I don't lose. Because uh, when I tried this like many times in the past, I did lose a lot of attempts because it turns out spider's not that great. One of the worst summons to take later on, uh, pretty much deer is usually considered the best, uh, or fly, of course. Rooster is pretty good, sheep's okay, and then parrot is great because it can be any of them. There's the first one up, so now it's going to spawn an additional 1-1 one, one spider, which will spawn another tier 3, which could potentially be a sheep, which could potentially summon two more rams. So you can kind of see how it gets out of control with this RNG sometimes. Uh, and I've got another 1-up Frozen for next turn, also going for level 3 turkey. And I still have this dog just to help win some rounds, but oh, come on, the turtle? The turtle overriding the 1-up is actually just so bad. The crazy thing is it doesn't even matter. I still win. But the turtle replacing the 1-up means I lose out on two summons or more, potentially. So that is pretty problematic. Uh, of course, I can't put the 1-up spider at the front, so I'm going to have to move the rooster. Putting stake on it, pretty reasonable. Uh, if they have a strong unit at front with garlic, I want to be able to take it out as quick as possible. Uh, yeah, so that is a really strong fish. There we go. There's the sheep, and it's getting melon armor. Oh, man. The RNG fest is just too fun. Another turtle. What is this RNG? That's crazy. And look at the dog stats right there. What was that? 34-22? You can see it's a 2018 in the shop. Oh my god. Oh, a tiger. Okay. So if I put a tiger behind a 1-up spider, it's going to spawn an extra thing. And then it's going to also... Wait. Yeah, so it spawns an extra spider. And then... I think it does another, like, okay, I'll have to just watch this to actually understand, because I don't even know what happens when you put a tiger behind the spider. But the thing that also gets summoned has a tiger behind it, so it could be like tiger kangaroo, which is kind of funny too. They have a tiger kangaroo. Okay, this time snail and blowfish, much more reasonable. Double kangaroo, and then another spider. So the 15, 17, 17 kangaroo, plus the tiger kangaroo behind it. Oh my god, it's so much fun. It's so terrible, though, because it's just like a complete RNG fest. Uh, could take melon for the tiger. 1-up would be a little bit better, just because I get an extra summon out of it. Um, all I'm thinking about selling the rooster... But I decide to go with melon on the... Oh, that's lame. I should have sold the rooster for another spider. That way I could have a full spider team. I can't believe I didn't fully commit. That's too bad. Only level 1 snake is not really going to be too much of a problem. The dog gets two little buffs there. Another dog and a kangaroo that's going to, again, get buffed to a 15-15. And then the tiger dog. All right. Just a lot of fun. I'm really happy with this run. Uh, the spiders... Despite them not being great, just RNG, it's just fun to mess around with RNG. It's like gambling. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.